Hey guys, today we are going to start looking at surface area and nets of 3D figures. We're going to answer the question, what are nets and key features of 3D figures? So let's review parts of 3D or three-dimensional figures. So the faces are going to be any flat surface on a 3D figure. The bases are special faces that name a 3D figure. The bases are going to be different for prisms and pyramids, which we'll talk about in a minute. The base on this one could be this right here. And then vertices are going to be the corners of the 3D figure. And the edges are the line segments that join the faces on a 3D figure. So let's talk about what a net of a 3D figure is. A net is a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional figure. When a net is folded, it creates the three-dimensional figure. So if we unfolded this and laid it flat, that would be the net. The reason we're talking about that is because we're going to start looking at surface area. So surface area is the outside covering of the 3D figure. It can be found by calculating the composite area of the net. So if we unfold this and laid it flat, then we can find the area of each of the faces, and that will be the surface area. We're going to be looking at surface area of prisms and pyramids. So let's talk about the difference between prisms and pyramids. Prisms are 3D figures that have two parallel base faces and rectangular sides. Their bases usually stick out from the net. And then a pyramid, those are 3D figures that have one base and triangular sides. The base is usually the center of the net. So let's just look at these 3D figures and we are going to label them as prisms or pyramids. So this one right here, I have rectangular faces. So I know that it's going to be a prism. And if you notice, I have parallel sides and all of the sides are rectangles. So this is a rectangular prism. Now this next one, I don't have any parallel faces. I just have this one base that it's sitting on top of and all of the faces are triangles. So this is going to be a pyramid and since the base of it is a triangle, this is a triangular pyramid. Then this one right here, it comes together at a point the sides are triangles, and then the base is a rectangle. So this is a pyramid, and more specifically, it is a rectangular pyramid. And then this last one, I have these two parallel faces. So these are my bases and then my sides are rectangles. So this is a prism and it is a triangular prism since the bases are triangles. Okay, so on these next four right here, we are going to name the shape that they gave us. We're going to shade the bases on the 3D figure and the net, and then we're going to label the basic shapes in the net with their area formulas because that's how we will end up finding the surface area. Let's review some key features of nets. Remember, in prisms, the bases are usually going to stick out from the net, and then in pyramids, the base is usually going to be the center of the net. So this one right here, I can tell it's a prism because I have bases sticking out and because I have these parallel rectangular faces. So this is a rectangular prism. And I'm going to shade the bases. So the bases usually stick out, so I'm gonna use these two faces for the bases. Rectangular prisms are special in that you can actually use any of the parallel faces as the bases, but I'm going to use the ones that they identified on the net as the bases, which are these. Okay, then all of my faces are rectangles. So if I were to find the composite area of this, I would need to find the area of each rectangle. So the bases 
our rectangles and we find the area of a rectangle by doing the base times the height. Okay, let's look at this next one. I know that this is a pyramid for two reasons. One, it comes together at a point and we have those triangular faces in the 3D shape. And then in my net, the base is at the center. So those two key things tell me that this is a pyramid. And since my base is a triangle, that means that this is going to be a triangular pyramid. And then if I were to find the surface area of this, I would find the area of each of these triangles and add it together. So all of the bases are triangles. And remember we find the area of a triangle by doing the base times the height and then dividing by two. Okay, this next one is a pyramid. I know because in the 3D shape it comes together at a point and I have those triangular side faces. And in the net, I can see that the base is at the center of it. So I have a rectangular base, which means that this is a rectangular pyramid. And I have different shapes making up my net this time. I have a rectangle in the middle for my base. And remember to find the area of a rectangle. We would do area equals base times the height. And then I also have triangles making up the net as well. And to find the area of a triangle we do base times height divided by two. Okay, then my last shape, this is a prism. I can tell because on my 3D shape, I have the parallel bases. And when I unfold that into a net, I have the faces that are sticking out. So this is a prism. And since my bases are triangles, this is a triangular prism. And the net is made up of rectangles. And I find the area of a rectangle by doing the base times the height of the rectangle. And it's also made up of triangles. And I find the area of a triangle by doing base times height divided by two.